Guys, this is that Freightliner that I had turbo troubles with. Um, I got the 6170 running. I need to get it back in here and back up against it and get the hold of the hood, get it on, but I can't get to it until I get this out of the way. What the hell's he got a fan clutch leaking? Is that the air fitting going into it? So this thing's got a misfire. I was gonna, I remember it was number three, but I can't. You got something leaking up on the fan hub or something there. Anyway, um, you know, I kinda, I, there's nothing, there's no, there is no active code with the turbo now, which I find very strange. A little air light come on again, but let's uh let's uh start it. Let's cut them out again. You hear it missing right there. No ABS. That turbo code's not there now. Kind of find that a little bit odd. Go, uh, should be able to cut them out. Cylinder cut off. Start. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's idling. I want to cut number three out. There's number three. Make any difference. Here's number two. Definitely something to do with number three cylinder. Let's do a relative compression on it. I thought I saw that in here. Yeah, relative compression. Now the engine's cold too, but... Transmission must be in park neutral, engine must be off. Turn the ignition key to start the engine. Turn the engine. The engine should crank, but not start. Let the engine crank for about 10 seconds, then release the key and press confirm. So wait, no, do I do that now or do I press confirm now? Let's see here. Let's go. It's got some kind of crank protection on it. So cylinders, one's at 99%, two's at 86, three's at 88, four's at 97, and five's 100, six, and, and keep in mind the engine's cold, it's stone cold. I, I kind of think probably we just got a bad injector because I mean, cylinder number two is not misfiring, and it's got it's got less of a percentage on the relative compression test than cylinder three does. And cylinder two, it cuts out and makes a difference when you cut it out. So I think we're all right there. There goes the VGT turbo again. I still don't have any faults, which I'm really surprised. Why is that turbo working all of a sudden? Because it was not the other day. I could never get it to calibrate. This 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 stuff is so finicky and 
temperamental this shit is. to think about the uh the turbo problem that it was having it's not doing it now because our plan was is we're we were going to get him to get us another turbo shit i don't know he's selling this truck he's he's like in his 60s now and his back screwed up and everything and he said i just i want to get it running right and get things fixed on it and sell it and the reason it's so filthy because this thing was cleared down in bernie hauling chips out of the woods chip truck so i guess we'll pull this valve cover off right now and look at that uh we'll look at injector number three well guys i got the valve cover off and i'm seeing something laying down we're gonna have to pull this you have to pull this uh the jig heads off something's wrong here let me see i see something laying down in here i gotta get my magnet see if i can get a hold of it that looks like a adjuster out of a huh. that is a broken that is a broken I, yeah, it's all broke off. Okay, so where did that come from? Where did that one come from? It's got to be on cylinder number three, because that's the one missing. I would think, anyway. I don't see it off either one of those. But I see something going on. Uh, no. Both of those are on. Must be on this side. Yeah, there's something. No, I can't tell. I'm going to have to get this. i got to get this uh, J-cat off. Okay. socket on this one down here it won't socket won't fit on it between the two the wall thickness on the socket's too damn thick so i'm going to go get a chrome socket i think my light just took a shit on me so I, she just died on me let me take the two wires off of the jig coil Uh, gonna have to cut these zip ties. Let me go get another socket to get this nut off right here, and then I'll have to cut these two ties off, and then, then we can get the JK head off. Okay, let me get this. Just trying to figure out where I'm gonna set this camera. Right around in here somewhere for now.
Something come undone in there. Okay, let me get this Jake head off the top here. His son was running this, and his son said that he heard something knock. That's when he decided to park it. And that's probably what happened right there. When he heard that. Something come undone. Okay, let's see what transpired here, huh? Here goes the camera. Where in the hell did that come from? Oh, well that's why that injector's not hitting. Right there, the rockers broke off of it. Yeah, yeah, that, that might make a difference. That might make a substantial difference as to why. And it's kind of screwed up the injector a little bit too there. Broke the retainer on it. Yeah, so I think we can go ahead and pull the this rocker assembly off and slide the broken rocker off. Needs a new rocker for certain. Lucky that it wasn't a valve and it didn't stick a valve open and hit a piston, you know, and really, really, really cause problems. They just rebuilt the engine in this, so somebody didn't do something right. These guys did it themselves. They're good guys, but they're plenty mechanical inclined, but something, I don't know, something. Must, something must have not been right for that to happen. I'll show you that injector once I get off here with this rocker shaft. Bad thing about these Freightliners. Man, they're, yeah, they're fairings and bumpers and... Uh, they're pain in the ass. See what it did to the injector here? Yeah, no wonder it was missing, huh? Yeah, no good. No good. Uh, slide this. Slide this broken rocker off the end here. What's your problem? Alright. So there's our broken our broken rocker. Broke right at the adjuster. I wonder what the fuck happened there. What do these look like? These seem to be fine. Now, let me give this guy a call. Get you back over here in the light where you can see a little better, but that injector needs to come out of there too and be changed. Yeah, that's no good, huh? What did I do with the other broken piece?
huh I don't think I've ever seen one do quite like this well look how there's like a chunk missing there I don't know what the hell happened to that thing did somebody set the preload too tight or what the hell you know what caused that it's busted out on both sides there's chunks missing kind of wondering if there's still stuff parts laying down in this head somewhere or did it go down to the pan see nothing right off there's something right there wait there's one chunk right there there's a chunk of it wonder where the other piece is Probably went right down the hole there. I see something a little bit. Where's my magnet? Thought I saw something. Well, I gotta call him and see what he wants to do with the turbo that's not throwing any codes now. <laughs> ah, just kind of curious. I kind of like to, I got the water drained out of it, you know, and I didn't want to put the water back into it. And if I was gonna pull the turbo, it'd be pretty handy to do it right now with the water drained out of it. I got to go down to a dairy tomorrow. I've got a 7200R that has all kinds of regen problems. I've got a 7215R that I've got a pretty big project. It's field work. It's at a big dairy. This is a big dairy that I'm going to, guys. This 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 one dairy. They've got 3,000 head of yearlings sitting there. They're feeding. I just want to. Uh, let's look at that. That son of a bitch threw that turbo coat again. I think that ECU 128's on. Yeah, so it threw it again. Good. That's actually good. I bet it's 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 in there now. So that makes me feel better knowing that that turbo actuator code showed up again. Come on, man. What are we doing here? We'll verify it. We'll look in the diagnostics here and see. Okay. Uh, truck <laughs> she's booting up let's, let's cycle the key again that's kind of weird how it there's something binding up in the turbo is what it is it hangs up and then it throws that hysteresis code Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. F for Freightliner. Shit. Oh, I, I clicked the right one. Sometimes the glove thing don't work too good on a touchscreen laptop. Let's go this one I don't want your freaking update you son of a bitch get out of here Golly.
Yeah, 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 yeah. What was it? A 641... Oh, wait. Bank, bank two proportional valve. Oh, okay. Well, there's no turbo code in there. It's, it's showing that because I got the wires. I got the wires unhooked for the uh, jig, so it's got a code there. Anyway. Oh, this damn thing and all its updates and all its bullshit. Let me call this guy and see what he wants to do here.